I saw the meal cups hanging and I go, ma'am, do you have meals? And she goes, oh, do we? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you didn't have to hype it up like that. Scotty B, what, what we about to do? Change my pants. After that, what are we doing? Changing my jacket. Hey, whole outfit better be switched whole up. Outfit, <laughs> Ooh. We better go get some delicious ass steaks. Bro, you realize this window's broken, right? That Ooh, glass that you just shattered in my window, it doesn't go down past that. I didn't shatter it. Nick, Look, one more time. That's my buddy. window. It's not going down it's anymore. I shattered your window. I heard you crack it when you humped it. I'm still me, uh. I'm still me too. I'm still me. Hello. I thought I should slide more. I need an encore. Done with all the turmoil. I got real people that I would die for. Two hands on the Bible. Loose lips and recital. I've been reflecting to clear up the message. You could be living and dying in a second. As soon as I enter, I'm finding the exit. I got a temper, I'm finding direction. It could be simple or maybe deception. I got a baby that's two in a month. She taught me life is a beautiful blessing. I'm not enamored with little impressions. What I've been through where I'm at is impressive. It's not my fault if you caught in the ketchup. Salt in the wound is a healthy endeavor. All right, we're here at Theo's Steaks, Sides, and Spirits. All right, we made it here. We're here in downtown Cambridge. This little downtown scenery, some great scenery. You got the church bells ringing too. If you haven't been to this place before, you're gonna want to because this place is already pretty cool, I can tell. Cheers. Back here with the boys, Nick, Chris, Jake, the squad. About to get some good grub, some good drinks. Enjoy ourselves. Got the menu here. Lots of stuff to choose from. I'm looking for that tuna sashimi, and I'm looking for that steak. Their steak looks very good. We've been highly recommended on the steak. The tuna sashimi, same thing. Very highly recommended. It looks very good. But who knows what I'm about to get? I mean, you should. <laughs> Try the lavage. The lavage. Wherever this is twisty bird is. It's <laughs> like a donut. All right, man. So we got the tuna sashimi here. They call it the sesame crusted tuna. And then look, I got some sesame balls here. Okay. I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't really know what's in that. I have no clue. It tastes like, sort of like a um, balsamic reduction. It tastes like candy. What does that look like on the inside? I can't even tell. It tastes like candy. It tastes like balsamic reduction. Fig, it tastes like a Fig Newton. <laughs> Going on the, the sashimi. Sesame crusted. That looks pretty good. <laughs> The sauce on it is very um, sesame flavored. It almost tastes like as if I'm eating a giant sesame seed. It's not bad. Big tuna fan, like take the benefit of the doubt. This could have been a lot of flavors for me. I mean, I've had a lot of tuna sashimi, tuna tartare, whatever you want to call it in my life. So I was kind of expecting a lot. I do like this. It isn't bad. I don't think you'll be upset. But for our standards, I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to. And I do like Theo's so far, but for this one, thumbs down. Does somebody else want to taste it? Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. I like that. It doesn't taste like fish, though. You're right. It takes over the flavor. Like Got to eat it together, not piece by piece by piece. You build it all together is pretty good, actually. It's a thumbs up from here. This is that little fig thing that Scotty was talking about. I don't know what to make of it. Let's figure it out. It's 
sesame. That is weird. Heavy on the sesame. You can taste it big time. I don't know if I like that, to be honest with you. <laughs> nah. All right, let's get down to business. Sesame crusted tuna. You can see that's cooked pretty perfectly at medium rare. How are you feeling about it? I like it, it just melts in your mouth. I mean, it's it's, exa it's exactly what you would expect from tuna that's medium rare. It melts in your mouth, it's got a nice sear on it that gives it a good sesame flavor. This is a good this is a good dish right here. These uh you don't like these entrees are pricey, but you might find them worth it. We're at the steak frites. Sauce looks good. Steak just melts in your mouth. I really like the truffle, the oil going with the steak. Truffle fries are my favorite, not the worst thing. Not my favorite thing. Still gets a thumbs up for me. It's steak frites. It's what? <laughs> what? Steak frites. Steak fritas. Yeah. Fritas. 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 No, it's not fritas. It's fritas. fritas. No, it's not fritas. Alright, so after a long debate, we found out that it was pronounced steak frites. Steak fritas. I'm critical when it comes to steaks. This is a cool lot sliced up. You can tell it's cooked medium rare. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce that it comes with, see how it is. It almost tastes like a marinade. Steak's a little chewy. It's not necessarily melting in your mouth, but it's got a lot of flavor to it, but I'm chewing a lot right now, so give me a second. So it appears to me that this was a seared steak. I can't really tell if it was grilled on a grill or not, like an open flame grill. The fries, no, you don't. That I, dish I isn't big. Those fries. The fries are good. The steak, it's got a great steak flavor. You don't even really need much seasoning on it, but it's very chewy. It doesn't necessarily melt in your mouth. And for a place that charges as much as it does for steaks, I expected it to be a little bit better. Although there's a lot of great things on this menu, this particular item I'm gonna have to give a thumbs down to. All right, so here at the Steak Fritas, medium rare, as you can see, it's a very, very good sliced steak. Like Jake said, it does look seared. It doesn't look grilled, but same time, it does feel nice. I'm gonna try this out first. I'm gonna try out the truffle fries second. Hmm. Steak was good. The sauce, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Very weird sauce. The fries though, full of truffle flavor. They're crispy, even though they're tossed in a butter. So for fries to still be crispy after tossing the butter, that's good. Tons of truffle flavor. I mean, you put some of these fries in your mouth, and it just, boom. Tons of truffle flavor, so I do love that. They did not skimp on the truffle oil. The steak isn't the best steak in the world, but it's also a steak frites appetizer. It's not like this is a um, filet mignon. You didn't order a ribeye. You ordered steak frites, and this is what you got. Between the flavor of the truffle, the flavor of the steak, I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs up. I think it was very good. If you were to order this anywhere else, you'd be more happy ordering it here. All right. We got the mushroom ravioli. I love mushroom. I like ravioli. Let's see what we got. All right, so first thing I noticed, you got mushrooms just hanging off the side right here. So immediately I can taste the sauce. I don't really know how to describe it. So one thing I can tell is that there's Parmesan cheese all over the plate. If you're a mushroom fan, you're gonna love this because this is just awesome. The raviolis are cooked perfectly. I mean, I would have really hated on them if they messed that up, but the mushrooms that are inside the ravioli, nice and tender, perfectly cooked. They got a strong mushroom flavor, so if you're a mushroom lover, you'll like this. You guys are definitely gonna love this, but one thing I'll say, it was kind of a pricey dish for it only to come with five raviolis. That's all it came with, it's just five. I'm gonna very much enjoy these five raviolis. But once we're done, we're gonna be wishing there was more. This has gotta be a thumbs up. Definitely. 
All right, so I got the mushroom ravioli here. We at Theo's Steakhouse. First of all, my first opinion on this is that I can tell cutting through the pasta with my fork is definitely fresh pasta. It, it feels like they either made this pasta or it's just very fresh in general. You can tell that there's um, mushrooms in the mushroom sauce. So for it be a mushroom ravioli, I like that. There's mushrooms in the sauce. It's also garnished with mushrooms. Um, very good looking portobellas. They look like baby portobellas. Yeah, very good. Here goes Nami. That's awesome. I am biased when it comes to mushrooms because I do love mushrooms, but that was a very good bite of ravioli. I can tell I don't really have to dig in anywhere else because it seems to be the same sh throughout the whole dish. But you can see how tough the noodle is when you're breaking it. Or pasta, sorry for your Italian fans, pasta, not noodle. The nice hearty bite, good flavor, creamy sauce. I like it, I'm gonna have to give this one some thumbs up for sure. A lot of Parmesan. A lot of Parmesan. <laughs> That's what everybody said. Pretty cheesy. Uh, they got this like drizzle on top too with it. It was pretty good. Saute mushrooms on top. Never really liked ravioli a lot. This isn't bad. A lot of mushrooms. All right, so we had the sesame crusted tuna. We gave that a two thumbs up. So we're going to give it an average, above average. You know the deal. Mushroom ravioli. Personally, I would give this a yo that's banger. Um, unfortunately, we're not a biased. Even though it only got two thumbs up, like I said, I would give it a yo that's banging. It's not a yo that's banging. It's average above average. Um, and then we move on to the steak fritas. It also only got two thumbs up. So once again, average above average. I don't think anybody was disappointed with coming here. I think everybody was uh, satisfied. I don't think anybody was upset. But we can't necessarily give any dish a yo that's banging today. That sucks, but I mean, you can't go to every restaurant and just get a yo that's banging across the board. So even though we enjoyed everything and everything was very good, nothing got a yo that's banging today. And like I said, that's okay. We'll see y'all next week. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll get a yo that's banging next week. Like, like subscribe. subscribe. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Like it. Like, like it. Order. Subscribe. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe. If you want to like it, then subscribe it. Bang it, boy!